Welcome back to another enlightening episode of Top Tens and I. I'm your host I, and today we're delving into the modern world's unexpected effects on our health. 10 Unexpected Ways the Modern World is Making Us Sick 10. Feeling Guilty Can Damage Your Health Every January, people make the decision to kick poor habits to the curb and start the new year off on a path to self-improvement. A few weeks later, everyone begins to regret not following through a little bit. But while a small amount of guilt can motivate someone to change for the better, excessive guilt is another matter. Not only is guilt unpleasant, but it may also weaken your immune system. Researchers from Hull University discovered that salivary levels of the antibody immunoglobulin A were lower in those who felt guilty about engaging in their favorite hobbies. So, if two people enjoy watching trashy reality TV and drinking wine, but only one of them feels bad about it, that person is more likely to develop bacterial and viral infections. That means you might experience colds more frequently than someone who just refers to it as pleasure because of your favorite guilty pleasure. 9. Light Pollution Astronomers claim that most people under the age of 40 have never truly known darkness. During a phenomenon known as sky glow, artificial light is dispersed by water droplets and forms a dome of light over urban areas. The small lights on technology like alarm clocks and televisions remain on constantly, even in our own houses, and our bodies are simply not designed to handle that. In fact, light pollution has gotten so bad in the developed world that it is now endangering human health. The cycle of light and darkness is encoded into the human body, claims physicist Eric Vandernoot. A number of health issues, such as an increased risk of diabetes, obesity, depression, prostate cancer, and breast cancer, are linked to excessive usage of light in the evening. Unhealthy sleep is another significant issue. In fact, it's possible that light pollution has completely altered how we sleep. People typically slept during two periods of about four hours each, separated by one to three hours of quiet wakefulness, before the Industrial Revolution. Even today, research has shown that when light pollution is taken into account, people often return to this sleep pattern. Additionally, since the outside streetlights are still on, You can still be in risk from too much light even if you get blackout drapes and cover those flashing LEDs. It has been discovered that turning off streetlights significantly lowers crime, even criminals need to be able to see. Even though that may not offer much solace to someone attempting to go home in the dark, at least they won't be mugged. 8. Added sugar is worse than you realized. Sugar itself is not unhealthy because the body needs glucose to function, especially the brain. People are now consuming more sugar than ever, which is an issue because it's possible to consume too much sugar. Additionally, although most of our ancestors' sugar came from fruits and grains, today the majority of our sugar is added to a variety of processed foods. The typical American consumes 27.5 teaspoons of added sugar daily. The brain has a built-in trigger that alerts you when to stop eating, but sugar consumption over time makes it less effective, making it difficult to reduce intake. We've just lately begun to understand how detrimental too much sugar can be to your health. When the public started to worry about food fat in the 1970s, producers simply substituted sugar for fat. Since then, the global consumption of sugar has skyrocketed. Which is unfortunate given that sugar is now known to cause liver damage, high cholesterol, diabetes, obesity, premature aging of the skin, dementia, brain damage, and poor metabolism. Even our DNA may be harmed by added sugar. In fact, Some scientists now think that the problem with sugar could be just as harmful as alcohol and tobacco. 7. Climate change. Mother Earth is already ill due to global climate change, but people could potentially have serious health problems as a result. The incidence, size, and duration of hazardous algae blooms will grow as our waters warm. Alexandrium catenella, a type of algae, can infect seafood and cause anything from sickness to paralysis-related death. The amount of dust that is blown into the water will increase as the earth becomes drier, which will encourage the growth of harmful bacteria. Poisoning from bacteria of the genus Vibrio in seafood has already increased by 85% since 1996. Since many cities are experiencing rapid urban growth, it currently only takes 4.3 centimeters, 1.7 in, of rain per day in Milwaukee for a sewer system to overflow and contaminate our water supplies. This could develop into a significant issue when flooding becomes more likely due to climate change. Be prepared for a resurgence of waterborne diseases in the industrialized world due to flooding and increasing bacterial proliferation in the oceans. So what are you waiting for? Don't miss out on the latest content from our channel, subscribe today. Hit that notification bell to be the first to know when we upload new videos. And don't forget to like and share our content with your friends and family, the more the merrier. Let's connect and learn together on our YouTube channel. Six. Lack of sleep. 
although it may sound cliche, many people simply don't get enough sleep in today's fast-paced society. And because of how potentially deadly that is, researchers are growing more concerned. In fact, men with chronic insomnia who get less than 6 hours of sleep each night have a significantly higher risk of dying young than men who get more than 8 hours. In one study, male insomniacs were more likely to die after 14 years, 51.1%, than frequent sleepers, 9.1%. Oddly, men seem to be the only ones affected by this, as women with chronic insomnia only had somewhat higher mortality rates than the usual. This may be due to the fact that, despite the fact that women are more prone than men to experience general insomnia, men are more likely to experience severe insomnia. Long-term sleep loss is now recognized to cause irreparable brain damage by killing off neurons, even if insomnia itself is not fatal. Insomnia will gradually wear a person down by preventing enough sleep for the body to relax, recoup, and regenerate. Working night shifts alone can seriously harm your health. Additionally, it is impossible to catch up on sleep. Sleeping in on the weekend won't make up for getting little rest during the week. 5. Phones and tablets. Of course, a smartphone buzzing through the night because you forgot to put it to silent won't help with sleep issues, and that's just the tip of the iceberg. Using bright electronics like phones, tablets, and e-readers immediately before bed can seriously mess with your body, even if you seem to get adequate sleep during the night. People participated in a study at Harvard Medical School where they read actual books before bed for five days and then used iPads for the next five days. People found it significantly more difficult to fall asleep when reading on an iPad. Once they did fall asleep, they had less REM sleep and were less awake the next day. Participants who used an iPad before bed were shown to have a 90-minute delay in the production of the sleep hormone melatonin at the cellular level. Our internal clock is thrown off by the particular type of light that electronic devices emit by interfering with the circadian pacemakers in our brains. In order to avoid missing updates, calls, or texts in the middle of the night, 61% of Americans between the ages of 18 and 29 said they kept their cell phones close to their beds, according to Pew Research. However, put down your smartphone and choose a device like the original Kindle, which doesn't emit light, if you absolutely need a tech boost before bed. 4. Suppressing anger. Your health can suffer if you're not willing to debate an issue that's upsetting you in a healthy way. Maintaining anger causes stress, which reduces lifespans. It's possible to have healthy rage, and it works well as a coping tool. Another adaptive characteristic that can drive risk-taking is anger. A poor immune system, high blood pressure, strokes, cancer, heart disease, and digestive problems are all associated with persistent rage that is manifested in explosive bursts. According to a University of Michigan study, Couples who repressed their rage had a greater death risk than those who worked out their differences through conflict. The ability to successfully handle conflict and anger is essential for good health, yet many people struggle with this skill, suppressing their anger and effectively punishing themselves for their emotions. According to psychologists, people frequently suffer low self-esteem as a result of their ineffective anger management, which can have severe effects on their interpersonal relationships, professional performance, and mental health. 3. Antibiotics can kill helpful bacteria. One of the most significant discoveries in human history, the invention of antibiotics in the 20th century has several unforeseen consequences. There are 10 times more bacterial cells in your body than human cells, and antibiotics often wipe off the good bacteria along with the bad, despite the fact that humans are much more dependent on bacteria than science has recently understood. As an illustration, bacteria in the human stomach aid in digestion and strengthen the immune system. Because of this, taking antibiotics frequently causes diarrhea and other stomach issues. Additionally, New York University researchers discovered that giving newborn mice antibiotics increased their risk of developing metabolic abnormalities in later life. The medicines interfered with the process of bacterial colonization of their stomachs, which was still occurring in those children and had long-term effects. According to the study, human neonates that receive antibiotics may develop an increased risk of obesity and diabetes as they age. Of all, as compared to the alternatives, utilizing antibiotics has relatively few potential side effects. Antibiotics are still one of medicine's most crucial tools when used properly. 2. Noise pollution. A sudden loud noise obviously has the potential to harm your hearing, but what about the continual din that permeates our daily lives? In the current world, it is nearly impossible to escape noise pollution from spinning hard drives, passing cars, distant sirens, and whirling fans. Most people are exposed to hazardous noise levels on the job each year. However, second-hand noise pollution affects everyone, including those who do not face occupational noise concerns. 
communication problems, prejudice, subpar work and academic performance, loneliness, and despair can all result from hearing loss. Health can be negatively impacted by low-frequency noises, such as the vibrations caused by driving vehicles. People who live in areas with high noise levels have correlatingly high levels of stress hormones, according to the World Health Organization, which has cautioned that noise pollution is a risk factor for developing heart disease. Noise pollution can result in high blood pressure, trouble falling asleep, respiratory problems, cardiovascular illnesses, higher heart rates, and even brain changes. Furthermore, research suggests that young children's cognitive development may be negatively impacted by exposure to loud noise. 1. Retiring the desire of many individuals is to work long and hard enough to be able to retire and enjoy life, but it's not so easy in terms of health. Working a job you detest can harm both your emotional and physical health, which is very concerning given the low percentage of people who say they enjoy their jobs. Working too hard can drastically harm your health, even if you're one of the fortunate 13%. The current work week length is roughly 47 hours, and according to a Gallup survey, 18% of full-time employees work more than 60 hours per week, while 21% put in between 50 and 59 hours. And while if putting in a lot of effort now might seem like a beneficial investment in the future, retirement itself can result in a loss in mental and physical health. Retirees are up to 40% more likely to have clinical depression than people their age who are still employed. They are also 60% more likely to have a physical disease that has been identified, though it's unclear if this is due to the fact that persons with health problems typically retire earlier. The key takeaway is that exercising moderation and striking a healthy balance between rest and work are the best course of action. Thank you for joining us on this enlightening journey into the surprising ways the modern world is making us sick. Remember, by recognizing these factors and making informed choices, we can take control of our health and well-being. Stay healthy, stay curious, and keep exploring the unknown.